It's the it's the road to WrestleMania or the H O V the rest lane to WrestleMania or or I I, love, I I was loving some of that stuff from the wrap up. Thank you guys for taking over that for me <laughs> last night. Um, it, you know, it was some good stuff. But the big thing, of course, Triple H, you're new. That young upstart Triple H is your new WWE Heavyweight Champion, and NXT man, NXT Superstar Terror Rising. NXT Superstar Terror. I wish, I wish, like he like lost his memory and that actually became a storyline. Um, <laughs> uh, first of all, I, and I want to talk about the storyline of the Royal Rumble rather than the Royal Rumble itself because I really want to get into some of the details. Uh, based on some stuff uh, uh, here in segment two. Uh, but first of all, how do we feel about this idea that Triple H uh, came in? And I feel a very Vince McMahon kind of move, except we'll get a better match. Um, I feel like we were going to get him and Seth Rollins in some some capacity anyways, personally. I don't know. I have no confirmation. Uh, but but I feel like that's where the trajectory might have been. If you mean Roman around. Reigns or do you mean before I'm the sorry, Seth, Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins, Triple H. Roman you said you said he Seth means, Seth. He means Seth Rollins before the injury. I mean oh. Seth Rollins. I, I think if he didn't get injured, I think Seth Rollins Triple H was going to happen at some point here, probably at WrestleMania, and that would be your big thing there. And of course, so much has happened since, um, and, and with the you know the the, the you know obviously the the, the 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 injuries and everything. Um, how are we feeling about that, guys? Uh, uh, LB, LB. I'm, I'm, no, screw you, Amen. LB. I want to. Oh. Yeah, LB <laughs> wasn't on last week. I want to know what he thinks. Well, here were you. I'm, thr- I'm thrilled to pieces. Okay. I think it's fine. Uh, who gives a shit what Triple H does in the main event or at the end of the Royal Rumble? What he did, him coming out, him competing, had no effect on what every other wrestler did in that match. They all put on really excellent, really great performances. Honestly, a lot of people were, were pitching a fit about you know Triple H and Roman and all that bullshit. The most upsetting part of the Rumble to me was that Kofi didn't do much. True. He got true. eliminated off camera right. after getting caught by Big E, and that was that. You know, that that was a bit of a bummer for me. But aside from that, I thought it was a really good Rumble match. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I really, yeah. I really enjoyed myself, and and honestly, I I don't I don't understand why people were talking about this. Mm-hmm. You should talk about AJ Styles. Are you fucking yeah. kidding me? AJ Styles showed up mm-hmm. and. Was there for more than ten seconds. Come on now. <laughs> oh, I am upset about something about some dirt sheets out there and talking about AJ Styles. No, well, but, well, yeah, that, that's a whole different story. But okay. um, go ahead, Eamon. I was just gonna say my thing was that people kind of defaulted to the whole oh Triple H is burying people. I saw the gif of you know Triple yes. H in the shovel all around the place. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Um, stay hyped. Um, I- <laughs> but here's the thing: like, if we want to actually look at it in the context of the Rumble, like who did he really bury? Who did he bury? Dolph Ziggler, that lost cause, Dolph Ziggler. Like, who cares? <laughs> the the entire match buried. Really? Dolph I, I really hope that's his new nickname, the lost cause, Dolph Ziggler. <laughs> yeah, like, like did he bury Sheamus? You think the last three months haven't done that enough? Like, <laughs> he didn't even bury Dean Ambrose. Dean Ambrose, actually, I think. I didn't mean to cut you off, Eamon. No, no, go ahead. But I, I think I'm about to say your point. Dean Ambrose excelled when Triple H was there. Mm-hmm. He, ex- he he put that to another level. And he was the last two in there. And for for a little split second, I actually thought Dean Ambrose was going to be a double champion. Yeah, it was a smart final, too. Mm-hmm. Uh, but like the, the the important young talent that, uh, of the WWE – didn't get buried because their stuff that they did in the match was amazing. You know, your Kevin Owens is, your Sami Zayn's, your Neville, your Neville's. I said, well, yeah, your Neville's. Uh, well, your Neville, he you didn't do much, but he yeah. didn't do much. I know, uh, but your AJ Styles. I know he's not young, but he's new. Um, you know, those guys got to do stuff and be cool and awesome, and you know, and I thought it was good. Mm-hmm. Your Braun Strowman's getting to eliminate, you know, oh, that was all the crazy. big Kane yeah. and Big Show. Yeah. Compare that, was, that to last year when Kane and Big Show were eliminating all the young talent easily. Yeah. I, I think that was I think that was a huge statement uh for that, you know, showing off that. And, and even just, just having the opportunity to say, Whoa, Strowman's as big as Big Show. Like I didn't even realize that. I had no idea. That was incredible. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this is one of those, like, remember back in the day, like, you know, I, I was reading some articles about how great the Rumble was, and they were, I think it was the one that was rating all the Rumbles, basically. 
And, um, it, 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 you know, you got the confrontations of guys that normally didn't mix together. And Strawman Str- Str- and Strowman? Strowman? Strowman. Such a weird name. Strowman. Like, like the bread? Anyways, uh, you know, like he got to mix it up with Big Show, and they Stupid. had a moment because those guys haven't really been together, right? Or he's being beat down, and you don't really notice. You didn't have a nose to nose with those two, right? Uh, and there was a bit of mixing, you know, just like just about anybody that AJ Styles touched was a new encounter, mm-hmm. which was great, right? Like, yeah, I think the only person who in that Royal Rumble that he even came in contact with that he might have before is Goldust. Right, right, and on, I, on I think that's a, under a different person. name. That's it. That's it. That's absolutely it. Um, I, I, I thought there was a lot there. There was a lot there for people. There was a lot to love for people that love the Royal Rumble, despite Triple H and the storyline. I, 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 you know, really, you knew in the long run. You know, yeah. it, it, the story was Roman Reigns and what Roman Reigns has been doing. And 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 we had not seen Triple H, so he's enough out of your mind to come back and make a statement like this. And 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 I'm with that. You know, he kind of teased a couple years ago. Well, maybe I'll win the belt. You know, with Daniel Bryan at WrestleMania 30, <laughs> and then he did. Um, mm-hmm. And and he's it's easier for him to hate because you know where he is with things. You know, um, and and I, I love it. I, it's great. It's great stuff. I can't wait to see what they do uh, here going into. Uh, into I'm, I don't want to say I'm excited for Fastlane, but into the Ro- WrestleMania. Uh, so. no, I'm excited for Fastlane. You're excited I, for I Fastlane. Think, okay. I think there's a way for Fastlane to work. Okay, is this now? Like, now, like I say, you have you you said on the Slack today, you have a way to fix Roman Reigns. I don't think there's a I problem do. with Roman Reigns. So I, I think there's a big problem with Roman Reigns. What I like, I think he's been built up. Oh, he's got this thing going on. I know it's not as hot as like they would want it to be, but I think I think all things considered, I think he's doing great, uh, great with everything. What 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 do you think needs fixed with Mister Roman Mister Reigns with 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 my buddy Roman Reigns? <laughs> yeah, sort. <laughs> That's about how many dimensions Roman showed right there. <laughs> What you have, what you have right there, that's it's one dimensional. Um, believe that, and, and believe that. And I mean, I can't hear you, Sork. Believe that. I believe he's saying believe, believe that. He's he's saying he's believe saying, that believe that because of the death of the career of Roman Reigns. Aww. Breathe that. Is that what you're saying? Believe that. Yeah, I, I, Sork. It it does it doesn't work. That that's about as good as Roman Reigns and Mike skills right there. <laughs> but um so here's here's the thing i think they should do uh for fast lane we have the nonsensical triple threat matchup which is fine i think dean ambrose should win that and i think it throws off a lot of people who are expecting triple h versus roman okay it gives you a really nice pop because I mean, Brock's going to be taken out by the Wyatt family in that match regardless to set up Brock versus Bray. And then I think you have Dean sneak a clean, a clean win on Roman. Excuse me. And then you have um, Dean come out the next night on Raw saying that he's really happy to be going to WrestleMania. But at the same time, he feels a little sad because he feels his brother got screwed over. Because Roman Reigns had to defend the title in the Royal Rumble, and he never got his rematch. And he calls Triple H out and says, Triple H, I know we had the match last night, but I think Roman should be added to make it a triple threat. Mm -hmm. And Hunter doesn't immediately dismiss that. He says, all right, but because you're the one asking for it, Dean, and not Roman, you're going to have to earn it. So we have like five weeks from Fastlane to WrestleMania. Every week, Dean Ambrose has to wrestle a member of the uh, League of Nations in a a match of Triple H's choosing. If Dean Ambrose can beat all the members of the League of Nations, Roman is entered into the main event at WrestleMania. And then you get four solid main events. You get a nice story. And um, at WrestleMania, like Dean Ambrose obviously, you know, wins all four matches. Um, And then... You get a, you get kind of a shield beatdown on Triple H at some point. Like they're they're going at it mostly 
back and forth, Triple H throwing one out, you know, how you do triple threat matches. And then when it looks like um, they're about to take out Triple H, take Triple H out of the match for good, Roman spears Dean by surprise and pins him. And Triple H looks shocked, and then Roman celebrates with the title. Dean's, Dean goes to congratulate him. Roman power bombs him through a table on the outside. And Roman hugs Triple H. He joined the, the authority, just like The Rock joined the corporation, and Dean Ambrose is the hottest face in wrestling. Ooh. Oh, so this is – well, I, one, the, well, I understand that. That's to help Dean Ambrose, though, not really Roman Reigns. <laughs> no, it's just to, no, it's to help Roman Reigns, too, because Ro, Roman has two main issues. None of them are in ring. He's not as good on the mic as they want him to be. And he's not – he's never going to be the top face with someone like John Cena around or even Dean Ambrose who gets a better face pop than him. My thing with, with Roman being the face, I think it's absolutely possible. I think there was a period of time you know, a few months ago where they were actually sort of doing the right job of just get, letting Roman be a badass and just have good matches and, and you know deliver. And then I think slowly and surely the, the Roman hate was sort of dying. Um, I think the Royal Rumble really showcased that they still don't have a complete understanding of how to make Roman the top baby face. Because their idea was... We're going to stack the deck against Roman, but we're going to take him out in the middle of the match. So he skips being in the ring with Big Show. He skips being in the ring with Brock Lesnar. He skips being in the ring with all the top threats in the, threats in the match. And then once all those guys get eliminated, he's going to come in fresh. And they expect the crowd to cheer for him. It, it was one of those cases where it's like, I don't think you really understand your mm. audience. No, and, no, I, and, yeah, I think that was the worst. Like, well, you would, you know, yeah. uh, Garza saying, like, explain to me why he couldn't come out and fight, uh, but even Owens dragged his ass out there, right? Yeah, that's the thing. I, I thought I that was it, that was an awesome statement because usually you have somebody beat up like that, you're like, well, he's not coming back for the Rumble, and he completely yeah. did. I, I think if they had Roman in the entire match, they wouldn't. He wouldn't have gotten as booed at the Rumble. No, no, absolutely not. Absolutely not. Well, uh, see, they tried to do the exact same thing that they did with Austin. Mm-hmm. Because the year that Austin was like targeted by everyone from the corporation, Austin was dragged into the women's bathroom of the arena and was beaten to a pulp and left. I remember yeah. that. I, I just rewatched that, actually. <laughs> yeah, so they, try, they tried to do it, but they have to understand, Roman Reigns is not Stone Cold Steve Austin. No matter how much they want him to be, he's just not. No, Austin no. is a blue collar badass. Roman Reigns looks like he's chiseled from granite. Roman Reigns is closer to the rock than he is Austin or Daniel Bryan. Well, my thing is that also in that scenario, Austin was already made. Yeah. So you could have a situation like that. You know, if you're still trying to build Roman, you put him in that match in its entirety. You yeah. have him fight Brock, you have him fight Owens, you have him fight uh, the big show, the Wyatt family. You have him do that. You know, to have to take him out of the match and then put him back in when all the threats are gone. I don't understand why, you know, you think someone would cheer for that. I, I do feel like, yeah, I, I I feel like having him be out there and kind of proving himself would have would have made more sense, right? And, and it's, and, it's, it's it's still in the sense of he's going an hour, basically. Right, right, exactly. It, it, for him to go there and go through all that stuff, then to be screwed over at the end by Triple H by coming out fresh, you know, and being Triple H versus he, you know, yeah, he got beat up, but he really kind of had a breather in the back, you know? Yeah. Like, and he came out not selling anything. Yeah. To a, to a guy that still has to prove himself and continue proving some, himself to fans, I the, the critical of fans, I, I feel like, you know, you, you gave him a glorified breather, like, like you know, non-kayfabe, right? And, yeah. And, and it's just, just it's just... It's very simple. You just let him be a badass, mm-hmm. you know, and eventually the crowd's going to sort of get behind him. Like, but see, the thing is, you can let him be a badass all he wants, but if Raw sticks to the same formulaic show mm-hmm. where the champion has to talk for 10 minutes, I don't care how much of a badass Roman Reigns is, his microphone work is going to negate all of that. Yeah. Right. Well, I don't think everybody should have to talk for 10 minutes. Like, I can understand some people doing it. I don't think Roman needs to. 
No, I've he can deliver a line or two and then just beat people up. As long as that line isn't believe that. No, it's fine. I don't mind that. But, you know, I, I, there's there's ways of doing it and keeping it on faith. I don't think having to turn on heel is the immediate, like, mm-hmm. thing you have to do. You know what I mean? But the, re- <laughs> the, the only reason I'm suggesting we turn Roman heel is because after that you get a easy feud with Roman and Dean. And then you can't have them feud for two, three months. And then guess who's ready to come back? And guess who's going to get a huge pop when he comes back? Seth Rollins. Mm -hmm. And then you have for SummerSlam your shield triple threat that they wanted to do for Mania, I think. Right. Well, uh, we'll see. We'll see where this goes. But uh, uh, either way, uh, we got some other rumble problems we need to deal with. And uh, I'm excited to kind of see what, what you guys think of this as we go. Uh, but anyways, Problems. hey, I want to give I want to give shouts. 